Welcome to Dogman TP Hunting, and if you're listening to this, it will be on the Interdimensional Voyagers podcast. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Tonya from Kentucky in the United States. Um, and she's a long-term experiencer, uh, and she's an experiencer predominantly of Bigfoot or Sasquatch. Um, and I do believe also with uh, uh, Dogman, but I'm going to let her explain it. Um, I've been looking forward to this. I've been trying to get her on for quite some time now. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get to it, okay? And remember, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, okay? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Hey, how you doing, Tonya? I'm doing fine. And you're uh, you're from Kentucky, aren't you? Yes, Ashland, Kentucky, to be exact. You're an experiencer, Tonya, of yeah. uh, uh, Bigfoot. Um, can you start uh, at some kind of the beginning? You know, when you when you first when you first uh, experienced or came across Bigfoot, what got you interested in it? Um. It's been a lifelong interest of mine due to my memo, my mom's mom, you know, my grandmother. Uh, mm -hmm. She played a, to make a long story short, she played a prank on me and my cousin when we was little. I'm talking about like six or seven years old. Um, mm -hmm. But she pulled a prank. She bought a gorilla suit and she had my uncle. I found this out way later, years later. She had my uncle come out the off the mountain real quick and run towards us and we was sitting on the ground playing and I looked back and seen it and we both ran as fast as we could and I got a scar on my knee from falling in the door trying to get in the house. So she uh she's the one that got me interested and the movie Legend of Boggy Creek, that's another thing that got me into it. And I started to, uh studying the subject uh, 2011 and i think yeah it's 2011 okay okay so um uh the, yeah a lot of people have seen the legend of boggy creek i must admit i haven't seen it yet Is it's, it a, it's a 70s movie it's old but it's not a bad movie okay all right okay good does that have a happy ending um it's a scary end. You know, back in the 70s, that was a scary, scary movie. Um, okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you need to watch it. You might like it. It's it's a little corny because it's old, you know, yeah. and everything. Yeah. But it's still you know, got... Oh, it, go ahead, it, always, it, it kind of always sounds to me like a drive through movie. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds to me like a drive through movie. Um, uh, right, so... Um, have you have you uh, lived in the woods then? Uh, do what, what did you say? I'm sorry. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Have you did you uh, live in the woods back then, Tonya? No, yeah. um, I lived in eastern Kentucky where I'm at now. Just a few counties down where I grew up. It's mm -hmm. woodsy. I mean, it, it's the Appalachian Mountains where I live. And uh, it stretched. It stretches all the way from north all the way down the south. It, I mean, it's a long. The mountain range is really a long one. I mean, yeah. That, had, I I've, mean, I've lived in residential areas, not uh, like the where I live now. It's closer to the city. It's suburbs. Um, mm. the last few years, actually, I live in suburbs areas. I never really lived smack dab in the middle of the city and I live close to the woods, you mm -hmm. know, like yeah. out back of my house, there's a huge cemetery and uh, I blame that on a lot of the paranormal that goes on around here because I live right in front of a cemetery. But okay. And woods, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to that cemetery in a little while because this is like kind of the present time. But mm -hmm. years ago, when when you when it's you know things sparked your interest, did you have any experiences, any other experiences with either Not, Bigfoot dogmen? 
not until 2014. I never seen one up till then. 2014. That was a big year for me. I got okay. a lot of good evidence back then. Not so much okay. now on on tape, but you know, back then I had some good stuff. Right. Okay. Evidence. Can you can you um, can, can you let us know uh, like kind of a bit of a blow by blow on on the on the year how it panned out for you and what you experienced. Well, now, I, I, I apologize. Maybe something's wrong with my mic. I don't know. But what was you? No, it's fine. Yeah, no. In twenty in twenty fourteen, if that was like a twenty fourteen, if that was a oh. um a, a year where you experienced a lot and things really started coming together and you started seeing things, mm -hmm. could you walk us through uh, that year briefly? You know, highlighting the experiences that stuck in your mind, Tonya. Oh goodness. Well, yeah. um, I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. Uh, 2014 was the year that I got followed home due to gifting food and trinkets. Um, that's what a lot of researchers used to do. Uh, some still does, but I don't recommend it. Uh, but I was followed home by Dogman and Sasquatch. So I got my plate full. They never left. They're still around at night, you know, around here. Um, that was one big event. The other events is uh, um, at the state park where I would go. It's like a couple of counties away from my uh, boy county. But um, I would, uh, I'm trying to. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Take well, your time. I thought I heard sent a knock on my door. Um, okay. I, I witnessed a lot of the paranormal side of things, but I wasn't going to believe, I didn't believe in that up until the last few years. Um, okay. But I've seen a lot of paranormal. Actually, my research, all these years, I have stumbled upon paranormal every time. And... Uh, so I got that to and orbs and all that such thing, you know, with it. And okay. I got a lot of video from there. I mean, clear video uh, from, mm -hmm. you know, they're on, you know, film. Yeah. And uh, that was another okay. thing I got to do in 2014. Okay. Um, Tonya, yeah. can I ask you, in 2014, you said that you had a uh, Bigfoot and Dogman uh experiences they followed you home why did they follow you home where where were you where you think you picked them up and they um, you know you believe you picked mm -hmm. them up and they followed you where were you coming from i it was a state park and uh -huh. a couple of counties from here you know my house um uh -huh. yeah that was what's Cause them to, you know, I was gifting them, and maybe where I'm a woman, they say, you know, they like women a lot. I, that might be a factor. I don't know, but I was gifting and got right. followed home just not long okay. after. Okay. Well, did they? Um, obviously, they didn't come together. They, they they came in separate separate times. Yeah. So you had Bigfoot one time, and then Dogman the other, or did you have them both together? Both, did you? Both. You had Bigfoot and Dogman at the same time. Yeah, oh yeah, that's normal at night no. around here. Really? Mm. I'm not researched Dogman that much, but I I've been around them so much that I recognize their growls and stuff as being Dogman and Sasquatch. When I hear their noises, certain noises they make, I know that's a Sasquatch. That's how I know. You know, I got used to their sounds. And, you know, think about it. 2014, I've been getting used to it. So, yeah, I can pretty much that's tell which is which. Yeah. Like at my windows or whatever, you know. Well, I mean, Outside. that's a long time, Tonya. That's a long time. I mean, that's that's 10 years. You know, mm -hmm. you've you've had the ten years of experience, um, so it is a long time. Um, if anyone knows, uh, you know the difference in the sounds, you're going to know. Uh, yes. ten years is a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so uh, when they when 
just briefly a little bit more detail when when they uh followed you and you were where you are now mm. was it knocking at the door was it scratching at the window what what did they do did one go one um, side of the building and one the other one the other side or what what did they do tonya um uh, when they started coming around they would there's a gap between a church building and my house and nobody can see you if you walk through there that's where all the activity was around my living room and bathroom my bathroom was scary and uh uh you could hear about anything going on in my bathroom i mean you can hear a pin drop almost as how thin the walls are and everything mm -hmm. but i would hear them around my windows and my bathroom uh my living room uh those were the main targets for them to have you know <laughs> do whatever they want to do i really don't know why they followed me home to be honest i i assume you know what i told you about earlier but the the living room and bathroom outside it outside you know that's okay, where they it, was, and they would make noises and scratch at the siding they would it all kinds of stuff okay did they throw, did they throw anything at the building they throw little pebbles rocks you know little tiny pebbles at me when i sit on my porch at night i don't know why they do that but the, yeah you can hear pebbles I caught it on video, pebbles thrown, not to hit me, but, you know, th throw my direction where I'm yeah. at. Um, kind, kind of getting your attention, kind of getting your oh, attention. Yeah. 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 Do you think that's what they're trying to do, Tonya? Do you think they're trying to get your attention? They, they, they're they not scaring you. Do you think, it, do no, you get the feeling? They, they used to scare me, especially dog man. Used to scare me. I'm more used to it now. Like before, you know, they would always come in my backyard too. And I, I, for years, I, I was afraid to go in my backyard at night. Well, I'm not afraid anymore. I go out there all the time and um, film like uh, the full moon, every full moon. I, I film that, you know, and I go live a lot with that. Um, yeah, that's the backyard and that you know i was always afraid but now i'm not so the fear has knocked down a lot for me okay. with with your experience because you have had it go on for a long time but would you say you know when when you see a full moon does it get more active does dog man get more active on a full moon okay this sounds crazy i'm well aware of it but that's how I noticed the UFO activity was filming the moon all the time. Every month, you know, I was, uh -huh. would do that. We talked actually on live one night when I was filming the moon. Do you remember? Yeah, we did. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Um, but I started noticing not only dog man and Sasquatch activity, but UFO, <laughs> UFO activity. And well, that's, that'll, come next what i'll what i think about that um yeah i've had this is like a miniature skinwalker ranch <laughs> i mean have you heard of that in the u.s skinwalker oh, ranch? yeah 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 we've yeah heard my that. place yeah, is, yeah. i'm just joking kind of but my place is like mm. that. yeah I got, it. I got it yeah. It's like a, a yeah, like a, a a smaller toned down version. Do you know we've got Tonya? We've got over here. I think the same high density activity. We've got a place where there's an awful lot of different activity going on, and mm -hmm. I I I believe it's in a place uh, as a big forest we've got called Canuck Chase, mm -hmm. and there we've got a lot of activity, UFOs, orbs, uh. We got a thing called a pigman over there, um, which mm -hmm. I think yeah. is a type two dogman. But um, uh, yeah, I, yeah, really, really scary thing. Um, it was meant, you know. I, 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 so yeah, I get what you mean. I get get what you're saying. Do you think that the UFOs that you've seen are somehow connected? Yes, to... definitely. Yes, how? they're all connected. And. How? How do you think? I know it's you're not going to be right. You're not going to be wrong. But just what's your theory? What's your theory? 
Well, I'm going by experiences. Mm-hmm. How I noticed, like I said, the UFOs is, you know, filming the moon every month. That's how I caught on to that. Uh, mm-hmm. And I would have activity at the same time. And this has happened several times. I would have the Sasquatch Dogman activity and a UFO would be in the sky. I mean, this is, it happens a lot. And it's all, it happens the same time. That's why I'm convinced that there's a connection there between UFOs and then Sasquatch and Dogman. I really believe that. Okay. The cemetery is not very far away from you, is it? It's right. I live right in front of it. Um, I should have, I didn't know I was going to get asked that question. I should have took a picture of it. No, and that's on my phone to give you. Um, well, it's a no, huge fine. cemetery. It's huge. Yeah. Uh, okay. Why I asked about the cemetery, Tonya, is this. Um, we have such a thing over here as a, a, I call it a type one dog man, which is a quadrupedal, large looking black hound, which um, uh, is often seen in cemeteries. It has uh, either um, uh, glowing amber or red eyes. Um, And this thing goes back hundreds of years. There's writings and um scriptures over here scriptures is that the right word that's not scriptures um there's even like carvings Mm -hmm. but there's writings very old but we're talking down to the uh 13th 14th century 15th yeah long time of a a a um dog creature huge a hound seen in cemeteries um so it goes back a long way. Have you ever seen anything like that? Is there anything that's come out? What I'm saying is there anything that's come out of the cemetery? Have you seen anything? Do they live in a cemetery? Do they, do you think they're hiding in there? Um, they seem like they're not scared of me at all. They would be cloaked or I hate to say this, but invisible. And they would uh, be, I, I could. I noticed they prefer to be around my house, up close, around the windows and such. Um, the cemetery. I have lately heard them in the cemetery at night. Um, they don't make a lot of noise. Uh, they imitate birds around here at night. Owls, birds that you hear in the daytime are chirping at twelve at night. You know, you know it's n- not bad. You know yeah, what's yeah, coming. Yeah. Um, but they do hang out at the cemetery. Um, I kind of wonder. I, we watch for deer, me and my dog, because deer comes in close to the gate where I'm at. But my, you know, it's a little road in between. But it's mm. um, they the deer comes and grazes there at the gate, and I often wondered if there was a let's say a sasquatch out in the cemetery and it might have that's why i have so many deer coming in around the cemetery around my backyard you know that might startle yeah. them or something you know yeah with your what kind of dog have you got she's a little you probably can hear she's a little chihuahua yorkie you know oh, yorkie no. chihuahua uh, uh right yeah you got a a, a half chihuahua yeah, I've got a, I've got the same. I've got a Jack Russell. Uh, I've got two dogs. One's a like a Jack Russell. The other one's Jack Russell and Chihuahua. Oh, yeah, I love Chihuahuas. I think they're great. I never had one. I didn't think I was going to like Chihuahuas. I didn't. Th- I thought they were going to be snappy little, you know, kind of barky little snappy things. Um, but no, they're really lovely and so loyal. Um. Cookie, my dog, can be vicious sometimes around a stranger. If you pick mm. her up and you're going to reach her to somebody, you know, to, for that person to hold her and pet her, sometimes mm. she goes berserk. I mean, she just barks yeah. like she's vicious and yeah. everything. But that's not you know, often. No. T- uh, chihuahuas are funny. They don't, for some reason, I don't think they like being picked up, especially by strangers. They've got a fear of being picked up. Yeah, they I don't have them picked up. No, they don't. How, what I was get your dog, how does you, are you afraid to let your dog out in the yard? No, night? we sit in the car when I'm out there. 
and I prop my camera up to film, uh, take video, and usually I have it pointed right at the cemetery. I'm in my backyard, but I'm you can see in my videos, live videos, uh-huh. the tombstones and stuff. You know, you can see that. Yeah. But I do. I record just for to see if I get any vocals, Sasquatch okay. vocals. Um, have, that's the whole reason why any? I record. Um, have you got any, Tonya? Vocals? Oh, yes, yes. I had one uh, uh, two or three nights ago. It's on my profile. Of, uh, and they was imitating, or one was imitating an owl. But if you listen to it, you could tell, no, that's not an owl, you know. Um, but that's just one of the birds they imitate around here. And the yeah. little birds that chirp in the daytime only, you know. Mm. They'll, they'll sound like that, too. Damn, they're real damn. good at imitating animals or birds. I know that. Oh, they're, they're brilliant. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Do you know? Um, uh, I, I, I've only ever been uh, uh, interaction with a Bigfoot once in the UK, and that is at Canic Chase. But normally, get this. Uh, I, I normally uh, have interactions with dogmen, but I hear often often owls a lot of owl sounds i would so, not doubt that dog man could do it too i wouldn't doubt mm. it i know sasquatch does mm. um, and it odd odd really mm. odd it is um, yeah strangest thing when you're out and you, and you hear an owl it's like wow it's like you know it's really close and you're thinking that just and it sounds like you said it doesn't sound a hundred percent like an owl. It's it it, it it sounds different somehow. Probably you had a Sasquatch, and I'm gonna say dog man. I'm not sure that I'm just saying possible mm-hmm. that you're oh. hearing not owls. You know. Yeah. Uh, by okay. the way, they also chirp or like if. Uh, it, let's say I go out on my porch at night, which happens a lot. They'll be around my house and sound like birds. One time they sounded like a hawk. You know what a hawk is, right? A bird, you know. Um, no, no. Well, no, it's called a hawk. It's, it's a type of oh. bird here in the United States. Oh, a they hawk. They imitate that. Yeah, like a bird of prey, a hawk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you, got you. Okay, they came yeah. up to my bedroom window and uh, sounded like a hawk once. One did. It was funny, I thought. But yeah. Okay. Right. Um, Tonya, can I ask you something? Uh-huh. You know, there's, there's a lot of people, and they say to me um, uh, that Dogman does not get on with Bigfoot, and they 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 fight each other. I don't believe that. I really don't. I, I think there might be some that fight each other just because of their personalities. Who mm. knows? But I, I really think in my area, they if you get one, you get the other in my area. I don't know about the you know, other researchers, but no, I think they're friends, you know, in my area. They they're hanging around each other. Okay. I got uh, pictures of that. Um, I've got to ask this question as well. Is there anyone, have you got any neighbors? Have they seen anything or heard anything? Have you spoken uh, to your neighbors about this? Oh, no. I keep it secret around here. Um, they would think I was nuts. And I'm secretive with my uh, my mom and my son. I don't talk much about it to him. He's seen him when he was younger, back then, in 2014. Um Okay. But, yeah, it. I lost track. <laughs> no, I'm no, sorry. no. He said, "No, that's fine." I was, what I was asking you about was um, uh, if the neighbours uh, had seen anything or heard anything, and maybe approached you and said, "Oh, Tonya, did you hear that? Did you hear that owl the other night?" And yes, you know, I, I thought they know. might. No. It's on record. It's recorded. Right. Yeah, it's on my profile. Okay. Okay. Um. Right, another 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 thing I've 
um, do you find that they have busy times of the month? I know it sounds strange, but are they, are they like, can you, can you kind of like on a normal evening, a normal evening for you, right? And you, you, or a normal day for you, you're at home, you're chilling oh, you out. Mean, you mean with the activity, a normal day? Yeah. You know, it's like a normal day for you. Yeah. A normal, so a normal day, day for me lately has been inside because it's been hot outside. We're still in the summer months, I think. And uh -huh. well, it's September, so uh, and, Okay. What time would they start making sounds? When at night, uh, when I would walk out on the porch, which I, I do a lot, it seems like I get more activity out front of my house where houses are and street lights. If you, I mean, that's crazy. You know, I never thought that could be, but they are, they go invisible or cloaked. You know, some people say cloaked and you can't even see them, but you can hear their noises and I'm familiar with their noises they make. Okay. And I, every time I go on my porch is I get more activity there than in my, uh, at the cemetery and backyard, really. I don't know why that is. You would okay. think something like that would be afraid of street lights and all that, and it's they're not afraid. I know you would, wouldn't you? I would think that. You know, if you, if I was kind of like, say, I was stalking someone, if I was stalking you and your house, I would stay out of the street lamp. I would stay out of street lights. I would be in the shadows. I'd be around the back. You know, it doesn't make sense that. Mm -hmm they they're out in the light or along the street you know i don't know how busy your street is um uh do you get a lot of traffic go up and down at night no not? not a ton of traffic no um i live in the suburbs you know mm. um no you've i got don't a train you've got a train track near you because i remember when yeah. you were doing your live and you you've done a lovely life and i recommend anyone to just uh, uh we'll get your details for your channel um because tonya does a, a live uh as just really <laughs> even if you're not into cryptids or paranormal it's just relaxing it's so because you see the moon the sky and in the background you can hear a train going like a freight train in a distance mm. going past it's, it's very <laughs> it's very relaxing you know to listen to i've heard that all my life i've always been around you know fairly close to a railroad and i've heard that sound my whole life and it really does relax me it makes me feel mm. at home you know because all my life i heard it you yeah. know, or trains. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Um have you have you actually uh seen uh one of these uh Bigfoot cloaking? Have you seen no, one and then it disappeared? Um I've seen them totally cloaked. Um I've not seen a Around the house here, I've not seen solid form really. I I don't. Yeah, once I did, okay. um, yeah. maybe more than that. I'm trying to think, but mm. um, it's mostly cloaked around the house, especially in the front of the house where the street lights and stuff is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. And uh, 
hands up i'm 100 percent behind you because i've seen i've seen uh cloaking in action myself so i'm 100 mm -hmm. behind you that one um uh okay um do you know it's so strange that you've got dogman and bigfoot i've never heard of that before you know together so close why is it you think they're hanging around where you live maybe they know something about me that i don't <laughs> I have no idea, none whatsoever. Um, maybe I should ask, <laughs> but I do haven't. I'll be here. Do you put food out? Not here, no. At the state park I used to go to, yes. Okay. But I don't do it nowadays because you could be, if you get, you could be feeding dog man too, not just big food, but dog man. And yeah. there's a chance yeah. you'll get followed home. It's happened to other researchers. Yeah. So I don't recommend gifting because you might be feeding both and you don't. I don't I'm kind of still scared of dog men in a way. And I don't, I mean, they followed me home, you know, and I'm trying mm -hmm. to figure out why. And I think, do you know, uh, with my experience of dog men, um, they are if they they do feed off fear but listen they are custom built for one thing one thing only if they mm -hmm. wanted to get you they would do and they would have done in the past they, they mean, obviously so i wouldn't be unduly like frightened or afraid because you know uh, you're still here you're still living your life and you're still enjoying your life uh it's almost as if they just kind of they tag certain people. They kind of tag on to certain people that they, they know are maybe maybe you're more sensitive to them. And because of that, they like that idea. Yeah, I agree. It's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a strong possibility. Can we can we just touch upon uh some of the UFOs that you've seen? Um uh, could you tell me what, what type of UFOs you've seen in the past? I also have video of UFOs out, you know, outside of my house. Um, I have video of it. Um, you can see it. I, I need to show you those. Um, okay. But as far as seeing flashing lights is the biggest thing. They could be in a, like the other night, um, it was a triangle shape. The stars were a triangle shape and mm. they were blinking. I couldn't get it on film because there was light behind me, and for some reason it wouldn't let me, it wouldn't, yeah. you know, I couldn't get yeah. video of it. But they flash, you know, they flicker, and that's mostly what I see. I have seen a full, you know, I have seen one cross right in front of me mm. uh, two or three years ago, and it was not flashing lights. It was, you know, you could tell what it was when you seen it. It was as big as a jet. Jet airliner. Okay. I mean, it was that size, you know, that's that big. big. Yeah, that's big. That's big. Uh, um, any idea on how far away it was from you, roughly? Any idea? Um, I know it's difficult. It's difficult, but um, I'm not good with measurements. Um, um it was about. Maybe two yards away i'm just guessing two or three yards away two yards it wasn't that far away from me damn that's where close. I think that, yes it's close i didn't that's know what close. damn yes it wow happened. i was well i was expecting you to tell me just that i was expecting you to say well okay tell you what phil it was probably about half a mile <laughs> no, <laughs> this was close. <laughs> I've had some wow. freaky experiences around here, I'm telling you. Just absolutely yeah. crazy sounding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. No, I mean, that's mad. Absolutely mad. That's so <laughs> close. Do you get a lot of do you get a lot of orbs? You know, people see orbs of light. Do you get that around your way? Oh yeah. If you watch some of my lives and my radio videos, you'll see orbs, plenty of them. Uh, you know, where I go film this moon, I always usually capture orbs. It looks like coming from the cemetery. Um, oh, yeah. So it could sense. be 
spirits, you know, I don't know, but I do ca capture them on film. I, I have a recent one actually on my profile. Um, and that would be really cool because people will be able to, you know, to see. It's one thing getting a description, but it's another actually seeing it on the screen, what you're talking about as well, you know, that that kind of like, you know, uh, gives it a whole new perspective, a whole new validity, you know, mm -hmm. um, on uh, uh, what you're saying, you know. Um, I need to gather that up. I, I don't know where everything is. So it's kind of scattered all over my profile. At all. Um, right, so... Uh, Another thing I was going to ask you was this: um, how, and this is a bit of an awkward one, but how can you tell the difference uh, between dogmen and Bigfoot if they're outside? And this is not the, no, the noise they make. Dogmen, as far as I know, does not imitate birds. Um, and I always, I think it's Sasquatch because sometimes I would actually hear him or her, uh, um, you know, so, and I know what they, I know the kind of sounds they make, you know, dog man, mm. I heard them howl once behind my house and uh, it was kind of scary. It's been a few years ago, but they're oh, quiet yeah. for a, a lot, you know. They're just yeah. kind of quiet. They don't want to be real loud here. There's been a couple of times they were, but they stay pretty quiet unless they're around my house and, you know, make their sounds. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. You know. No, they do. They do. They are. They are. Um, they're, they're funny. They're kind of like um, they, they will follow a person back and uh, what they'll do, they'll do a lot of scratching. Uh, Bigfoot will kind of like chuck stuff at, at you know, pebbles, stones. Mm. Uh, they'll also, Bigfoot has a habit of leaving, um, uh, outside your door, it will leave, uh, almost like sticks in a certain, in a certain, um, uh, uh configuration. You know, it might I, be a cross or an X outside. Do you get that? I call them stick glyphs, I think it's spelled G L Y, yeah. Yeah, he I, I don't know. Um, I've got them uh, one time uh, near my living room on, outside. They put a triangle made it, it with sticks right by my living room outside. Don't know what oh, that wow. means. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Next time you get those and you see them, uh, just photograph them. I try them, yeah. to keep things documented around here, but that day I didn't realize what it was. I didn't know anything about stiff glyphs. Stiff glyphs. I didn't know yeah. anything about them. I thought it was just. I didn't pay much attention, but I know what I'm saying. It was triangular. Um, that's been about kind of the only. T no, I, there's an. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Here's another the one at the state park. Now it's very. Uh, there's not a tree structure or whatever that I've ever seen like that one. And I got pictures of it too. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I'll send them. Are they like uh, in a state park? Are they, do you ever find a big crosses like that, like two trees pulled up and put, put across each other? Do you find those? I've, I've not seen the X's. I know what okay. you're talking about. Yeah. Um, I've seen the sticks on the ground, the glyphs. And yeah. there's this, it's really neat. I've never seen one like this, but um, there's wood. It's a water waterfall, a small one, very small. And they yeah. place, you know, trees around it. And they have that triangular on the bottom of the structure. See, there, there's something with triangular uh, that I don't know what it means. But there, it's you know, obvious. Yeah, triangles. They're a big thing, triangles. Mm. You know, for, for some reason, the TP shapes and the triangle shapes have a big thing. And you get X's and the Y's as well. And um, I, I find an awful lot of, like, uh, in the woods, uh, more and more I'm coming across clothing high up in the trees, in the branches, trousers, uh, pants. 
um, uh, uh, T-shirts, uh, 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 even things like um, dog harnesses. High up in the trees, these things. And when you look at them, they're, they're kind of like, um, you know, they're not old and tattered. They're quite new. It's like, you know, someone's taken them off. And for some reason, they've they've shimmied up a tree, you know, in their underpants to put their trousers on a top branch because they couldn't have chucked them up there. It wouldn't have landed that way, you know. Oh, and guess what I found as well? Have what? you ever seen this? I'll tell you. Look, have you ever seen this? I saw Avos. On the floor, they're walking along, and there's sticks in the shape of arrows, proper arrow shapes, pointing towards this large pond once. And this was in a place called uh, Devon. I don't know if you've heard of it. In the mm -hmm. UK, we've got uh, Devon, Cornwall, but Devon this was. And it's really kind of like, and it was by uh, some standing stones. And these stones are like, uh, you've heard of Stonehenge, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, okay. These stones predate Stonehenge, and they're on private property. I had permission to look. Um, oh, and they, Yeah, so I got permission, and the guy said, uh, Phil, uh, you know, you're a nut job. Do what the hell you want. If you want to dance around stones, you go ahead and do it, you know. Um, he said, just don't damage my fence. And I said, that's fine. That's fine. I'll do that. So I went and had a look, and then it was this pond, and I said, I was guided to the pond by these avos on the floor. And maybe there's the water is that they're that's what they're talking about. In other words, that's what they're showing you. I guess mm. it has something to do with the water. Like, you know, the one I was telling you about at the state park, it had water. It was a little waterfall. Um, mm. So I yeah. don't know. It's funny with water, isn't it? All the, I've heard a lot of witnesses saying that um, they've seen, uh, you know, a lot of, like you're saying, structures and, you know, stuff by, by water. Yes. The state park, uh, it had a big, well, no, it had kind of a small lake. Um, but the activity is right there where the lake is at the state park and that's where they hang out i think i know one summer you know 2014 they did they hang out at a certain area around the lake um, did tony did you just say rake r-a-k-e l-a-k-e lake okay okay yeah. Got you. Oh, okay all right yeah 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 because there's another cryptid called a rake and i thought wow you got yeah, a rake, rake. Oh, R A K E, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Stay away from them. My word, oh, yeah, yeah, no, they're not good. Um, so uh, do you do much in the way of research? Then, uh, uh, do you, do you do you ever sort of go out into the uh, uh that park anymore? Or I've not been to the state park in two or three years. I know, but I know it's bad. I should go, but I can. I don't see the purpose in really going much. I mean, I can document stuff around the house here mm, easier well, than I probably could at State Park. Yeah, I must admit, if I was in your boots, if I was in your shoes, I definitely, because it, it, it seems to be all going on around where you live, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and the cemetery, I think, is a focal point for you. That is a focal yeah. point. No, for the paranormal, not. yes. Yeah. That's a whole different subject. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I can I briefly just uh, I mean we can save this for another episode, but I wanted to talk to you about this because uh, uh, <laughs> the little kid in me, yeah, I'm 57, but the little kid in me wants to ask you. I always wanted to live near or look upon a cemetery. You know, uh, uh, have you ever seen anything other than like have you ever seen any ghosts or anything? And we'll go into more detail in another episode. But have you seen any ghosts? Once I did. I've seen plenty of orbs uh, in the house. Um, but, yeah, once I did, it was a little boy. Um, I couldn't see. He was solid. You know, you couldn't see through him. Mm. But what happened was he stared at me, and I was in my living room. I, I used to sleep on the couch all the time. When you look in, you can see the kitchen, the 
through the house. Um, he was standing in that kitchen doorway by my son's bedroom. Um, and he, you know, like I said, he was solid form. He was, a, he looked to be, for his height, he, he might have been around six or seven years, six, seven, yeah. That would be about what age, going by his height, you know. Mm. Uh, but yes, that was the only time that I actually seen a full solid spirit. And he put his hands together and he died behind my kerosene heater and disappeared. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, he, okay, you imagine like if you're putting your hands together to jump in a pool. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know like what you're, you're talking about. That's what he done, and he disappeared behind my kerosene heater that was in, kind of in front of the uh, kitchen doorway. So you know that was hand, crazy. You know when he put his hands together and you said as if he's diving into a pool? I get it. I get what you're saying. I get it. But also, when you first said that, I thought he was putting his hands together as if he was praying. He was playing, of course. He wanted me to see him. I'm sure, you know, it's, he had to, he wanted me to see him. I thought it was my son at the time, but I kept staring because the way it stood there and I, I, it was creepy. I just got the creepy feel and I watched it, just stared it down and it, it done the dive and the disappeared, you know, uh, that, it was really freaky. Did Tonya, did he walk? Did you see him taking steps or did he kind of like float or? No, he was on ground. Uh, he didn't move forward or backwards. He just put, he was standing where he had been standing. He just put his hands together like he was going to dive in a pool and he disappeared behind my cursing heater. He didn't move back or forwards. He just done the diving, putting his hands together at the same, you know, place he was standing. Okay. So. If that makes any sense, I don't know if it does. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes yeah sense, that yeah. was uh, the first time that I've ever seen one solid form. Have you, when you were, when you were a little girl, um, had you had any, any, um, is this thing, is, is this been going on, you know, since you were, you know, the paranormal, has it always been? sort of uh nudging you poking you with a stick or has it always just happened since uh 10 10 12 years ago i didn't ever see i didn't see a ghost uh nor about anything and it was 2012 when that happened um yeah it's i can, i'm got distracted and <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, no, yeah, that's it, fine. That's fine. It, it, I was just trying to work a, out. Mm. Sorry, Tony. Go on. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I was around 40 when everything started coming together. I didn't have no experiences whatsoever until I, I was around 40 years old. I don't know why that is, but um, it's unusual. So the past 10 years... I over actually go over, I guess ha has been paranormal, you know? Okay. When, when you had this, uh, I was, I was asked the same thing as well. Cause I think it has a direct, uh, 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 a link to this thing. When you first started seeing, when you were in your forties and you started seeing this stuff, what was your frame of mind then? Were you in a happy place or a sad place or, you know? I was you... depressed. I was depressed back then. Yeah, okay. really depressed. I'm not like it anymore, but then, yes. Okay. That happens. That happens, you know. Yeah. 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 You know, that does happen. You know, uh, it's almost like... Uh, in a way they throw you a bit of a lifeline you know they give you a focus away from yourself and your problems they give you something else so you know it's weird isn't it they kind of they kind of like you know snapping their fingers going right okay let's snap out of it look we're here look you know um focus on us you know 
you yeah. know, um, it's kind of, I don't know, it's funny. It, a lot of people who have troubles in their life, uh, it's at that point that they recognize, you know, and they start seeing weird That's crap. True, yeah. For me, it's true. Mm. Yeah. Odd, odd. Um, have you ever had anything happen inside your house and have you got any protection for your house? No protection. Um, uh, here's a, a really crazy thing. Um, <laughs> and the Sasquatch, I don't know about dog man, but Sasquatch has come into my house. Now, I know, I realize how insane this sounds. I'm not crazy. Like, I'm not making it up or anything. I mean, they came in the house more than one occasion. How I know that? Because, as I was saying earlier, their noises, they was cloaked. You couldn't see them, but you would hear their, their noises in the house. That's how I knew they were in the house. Um, oh, another, um, they... There's another sound they make often. It's a whimpering puppy dog. You know, like crying dog, puppy oh. dog. Yeah. Yeah, they sent, they would do that around the house too and inside here. I have seen uh, that spirit that was in here, that little boy. Um, I've seen orbs in here, especially I've seen a few lighted ones. It looked like it, it was lit, you know. Uh, it was bright white. It, I mean, it's like it had its own energy source to provide, you know, that light, but it didn't, you know, that's not true. But um, I think it's about it that I've witnessed in the house, that I've seen. Um, I think, uh, well, that's enough. That would be enough for me. I know that. <laughs> I don't like living in a haunted house. I really don't. I I wish that I didn't live in front of the cemetery. Uh, I blame that a lot with the spirits coming in. And yeah, wow, you that you, you, I I must admit you're you're a brave woman. You're a brave woman. You know to even come out and uh, uh, talk about it because a lot of people they, they think won't understand about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, uh, I get it, you know, because you know some of the some of the stuff if you've, if you've heard me in the past, some of the stuff I've come out with, you know, I don't expect people to believe me, mm -hmm. you know, as well, because I don't. it's not, you know, because it, it, it's so absurd. Some of it seems so absurd. It seems so yeah, stupid. It does. Especially you know. them coming in my house. That does sound absurd. I mean, yeah. I'm, I realize how crazy it sounds, but it's it's true, totally true. They can go in your house. They're like a ghost. They can turn to spirit form. And I guess, you know, go through the walls. You know, like a spirit. Okay. Yeah. Does. But yes, they yeah. take they gotta take spirit form in order to do that. Were they do you think it was looking for something in the house? I think they just wanted me to know they're they wanted me to know they're around. Is why I, that's what I think, you know, close, but <laughs> and yeah. that for some reason they have a, a high interest in me. I don't, like I said, I don't know what that why they're around, followed me home and all that stuff. I, I would love to know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I think it would be, uh, I think there's a uh, there's more to tell. On your story, definitely. It's more. I mean, I would like to ask you some more stuff, really. But at the moment, uh, we're coming up to an hour. Okay. Um, at the moment, um, and what I'm going to do, if it's all right with you, Tonya, is that okay if you? Would, would you like to come on again? Would you do that? Oh, I'd love to. Yeah. Um. And then what we can do is, in the meantime, if you can send over some 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 photos and mm -hmm. video, and um, in the meantime, uh, that'd be brilliant. And then and and then when you like come on next, we can kind of like integrate everything together. You know. Uh, that and, sounds um, great. I think that sounds really fantastic. Uh, where can people find you, Tonya? Um. Well, you could say my last name. It's on. 
Facebook uh, would be more defining. Okay. Find your okay. app and, you know, that's. Well, I'll do. I'll put the uh, description and the link for your Facebook, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. If I got your permission, I'll put that on the description of the okay. uh, video as well. Yes. Um, okay. I do, I do um, recommend that people do uh, go and have a look at uh, some of Tonya's stuff because um, uh, it really is fascinating. Uh, I mean, as I say, we, you know, I ha I've been on the, a, a live, a live uh, watching, you know, and um, it's just so, it, it really is cool. And where she lives is, it's only on video. I've never been, but you just get, I got a feeling, I got a feeling there. It's just, it's, it's something in that area where she's living. Mm -hmm. um, I 100% do believe this. Um, uh, whether it's the area or whether it's Tonya, I don't know. That, that, that I don't know. Um, but no, fascinating um tonya Lots i want to say thank things i'm sorry yeah, it is. no no is there anything else you want to uh mention no um on the second round we'll i'll talk more about it for sure okay. cool okay um all right then uh if you if you'd like to uh uh stay on i'll just um uh yeah so if you stay on for a minute i'll just uh and thank you very very much for coming on i appreciate that we shall see wanna, you again i want to thank you for having me it's you oh, know no thank you uh it's really p absolute pleasure that you know it's nice to give uh you know to to enable you to like have a voice you know just because mm -hmm. everyone's got a story and you've got a hell of an interesting story you know i love talking um, about the stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah no and um you got a lovely accent as well i love your accent thank you uh okay tonya um thank you very much and we shall speak very soon uh, if you'd like to stay on for a bit uh that'd be good um right as i say uh i shall put uh, a link for the um tonya's uh facebook on here uh for people um to have a little look at and I uh, just want to say uh, thank you very much for uh, joining us. Um, it's been great. I'm definitely going to have uh, Tonya back on. And uh, let's say uh, thank you and uh, have a good day, evening and night, as it were.